It's quite unusual for skateboarding to be actively encouraged within the public realm. A lot of public realm design, particularly um, surfaces and benches, actively designs out skateboarding and is actively hostile, which is actually in fact hostile to mostly a, a young generation of people. And so by building something purposely for skating, skateboarding, we um, wanted to create something where the Harbour Arm, particularly here in Folkestone, was creating a permissive space for this kind of activity, for the sort of colonisation of, um, of people who are really struggling actually to find good places to do skateboarding in Folkestone. So when we first came to Folkestone, we met with two local skateboarders, uh, Joel Snowman and Alex Frost. And they, from them, we sort of learned about the kind of existing skateboarding opportunities in the city. Mainly we spoke about the things that didn't exist, so like the sort of things that they wish were, <laughs> were in Folkestone that they could skate. So one of those things being just having a pretty good um, ledge. Um, well, so our approach to projects uh, like the Triennial is to create something that, um, whilst a kind of temporary commission, in fact, actually could have some permanent use. So we wanted to use, where possible, mainly natural materials such as stone, which is what we've used here. A lot of the stones here have come uh, from quite literally next door on the beach. And we, we spent a day with a couple of the local skateboarders kind of going through this big pile of rocks and sort of figuring out which, trying to find kind of the, the right stones. The ambition was not to create a kind of perfect skateboarding landscape which very much um, is in a way counter perhaps to some of the other skateboarding projects that are happening in Folkestone um, and to create something that maybe over time might grow and change.